hello everyone today i'll show you how to use a digital multimeter as you can see i'm using a fluke 175 true rms multimeter so i, I will show you how to use it now so all you need to do is turn this dial that's it you have to turn it clockwise or if you want to turn off you have to turn it anti-clockwise so this is for turn off if you move the dial to the right now that measures the AC voltage also you can measure the frequency in order to measure the frequency you have to press on the yellow button if you want to measure DC voltage you have to turn the dial to the right again and that measures the AC voltage sorry DC voltage if you press on the yellow button that will measure the frequency if you want to measure the DC voltage but in millivolt then you have to go there that measures in millivolt if you want to measure resistance then you have to go there if you want to measure the capacitance then you need to press on the yellow button that measures the capacitance in nanofarad if you use a microfarad capacitor then the unit will change into microfarad you don't need to do anything automatically it will change if you want to do continue to test you have to go there if you want to measure AC current in milliamp, you have to go there. Also, you can measure the frequency. If you press the yellow button, that measures the frequency. If you press again, measures the current. Uh, you can measure the DC current in milliamp, AC current in a milliamp, and AC frequency. That's AC current in milliamp, that's DC current in milliamp, and that is frequency and then if you turn it to the clockwise ag clockwise again that shows you are measuring DC current in amp DC current in amp AC current in amp and you can measure the AC frequency this is for DC current in amp, AC current in amp, sorry, it's not AC current, it is frequency. You can measure the frequency in hertz and this is AC current in amp and this is for range. If you click on the range look at this you can measure in two decimal points three decimal points if you press on the minimum and maximum button you can see that shows maximum is no point no no three amp AC if you click on it again they should be zero because nothing is connected 
but as you can see you know, the f the multimeter is not 100 percent accurate so therefore it shows some values maybe it picks up some type of noises that's why it shows some values if you press again that shows average values that shows the maximum this is the minimum minimum is one maximum was maximum was three so def average is two makes sense and if you press on the hold button then the value won't change it will stay the value will stay so you can take the result so thank you for watching i hope you've learned everything about this multimeter and plus i need to show you one more thing if you want to measure say resistance voltage or current all you need to do is you you'll need two leads one black one red so you have to connect the black lead to common if you want to measure voltage resistance or you want to do diode test you have to connect the red lead to the and if you want to measure the current you have to make sure it's it is less than 400 milliamp then you can connect the red lead to there to measure the current which is less than 400 milliamp if you are confused make sure you use the 10 amp one if you don't get any values then you can use the 400 if you use the 400 milliamp connector for anything above 400 milliamp your multimeter will blow up maybe the fuse will get damaged so you have to re replace the fuse uh, if if you measure anything above 400 milliamp then yeah you, then you have to use this connector That's all everyone thank you for watching my videos if you want to turn off the multimeter just turn it anti-clockwise otherwise your battery will run out if you need any more information from me then please do not hesitate to comment uh, on the video Thank you for watching. Thanks a lot. Thank you for your time. If you want uh, more videos, then don't forget to share and subscribe this video. Thank you.